Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As you already know, this is your U.S. General Rule 5 Draw 2 card, side tray, and deep compartment. And as I always state, I always keep my signature lingering somewhere in the background, my Dunkin' Donuts coffee, so you already know, okay? Uh, at the prior moment, basically, I'm working on two uh, different projects. So as you can see over here, um, this is the 2019 um, Dodge Charger right here. So we're gonna give you a little quick look. This, so that you can see basically what's going on. Um, I don't know, um, it's gray. I, I don't know um, what type of gray this is, but it does um, kind of stand out quite some. Okay, give you a little look. It's a 3.6 liter BBT. Okay, as you can see. Um, at the moment, I'm also um, working on a 2020. Um, what is that? Chevrolet and Elable. So get over here. And as you can see, I have it on a scissor lift right here. So I'm about to um basically get both these in the air. Give you a little quick look. The engine setup. Okay, this is a 2020 right here. All right, so let me get these both in the end. We're gonna um, get to it real quick. Okay, now I basically um, got the charger up in the air. Okay, and as you can see, now I got the um, Malibu up in the air. I'm going to um, be doing a lot of multitasking between the two and um, throughout my days I work from four different areas so a lot of times I'm working on two and three cars at the same time simultaneously okay so we're going to get over to the charger real quick get some shields down we're going to get to it okay in a portion of my day um, as you can see uh, my quarter inch hex Milwaukee stubby um, this is used um, very quite often throughout the day um, I do have um, a lot of different cordless impacts also um, have the quarter inch stubby with friction ring um, but I tend to go to my hex more than um, my actual stubby with the friction ring okay so we're gonna get over here back to this charger okay as you can see, um, basically the shell, the shell is 10 millimeter. Okay, now as I uh, basically um, got down the shell, as you can see, here's basically the, um, the pan, okay, and the cock is here, okay. Okay, now moving along um, from the charger, as you can see, I got that uh, draining, okay. So now I'm gonna get up over here to the Malibu, okay, so as you can see, What's going on? Okay, and as you can see, the pan is here, and you have a filter located right here on the 2020 model. So the setup is on um, basically still the same. It's really not much of a difference. Okay, as you can see, the cat is right here. Okay, you see the cat shell. Okay. Okay, so pretty much you see, um, I got that draining over here and I'm still um, draining this right here okay 
Just going to get back to him. Just going to go and give him a few minutes. Okay. Okay, um, something real quick, um, basically that I do want to point out, um, once again, this is a 2020, um, Chevrolet Malibu, and as you can see, um, the pan, and, um, basically the connect, um, where the filter is basically, um, located, um, when working on some of these, uh, more newer vehicles that's never been serviced before that basically have, um, original manufacturer parts on them, um, a lot of times you got to be careful um, when doing service because what happens is, is a lot of times um, the filter is um, heavily tightening, okay, and basically what happens is, is you'll get a situation, as you can see, like this, okay, and as you realize it's missing its rubber seal and um, rubber gasket right here so basically you know this is what you'll be looking at and sometimes what happens is it sticks and you may not realize it okay when removing the filter so when you go to put on a new filter you're putting a gasket on top of a gasket um you don't want to close everything up and seal everything and get your fluid back in the vehicle and then get the vehicle back on the ground because then what happens is you'll double gasket and oil will start leaking all over the place, okay? you either get oil all over the shop or you don't want to release the vehicle back to a customer like that because then um, they can wind up acquiring other, other damage um, to their engine. So, you know, be very careful of double gasketing, okay? Very important. Okay, so now um, basically they got the Malibu um, together. I'm going to get this back down on the ground and now I'm going to get back um, to the charger because you know for different make and model vehicles, the situations and the setups is always different. So as you already know, this if for the ones who are unfamiliar, this is a um, can filter here. Okay, so now... Um, Moving along from this 2020 Malibu, now it's time um, to get back to the charger, okay? Okay, now since I got the uh, charger fully drained, um, now it's time to get up the shield. Unfortunately, you know, um, when I'm doing certain work, I can't hold a camera and hold a tool and record at the same time. You know, I'm not a professional cameraman. As you can see, I am in a professional shop. I am at work on a clock.